I have a eight pound pork shoulder. And uh, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to show you just a simple brine uh, to soak it in overnight. You know, generally a good big piece of meat like this needs a couple days of brining. But uh, we're gonna give it an overnight brine. Tomorrow we're gonna score it up real nice. Then we're gonna smoke it. Good times. All right. Now a basic brine is just nothing more than a salt water solution. We're gonna doctor it up a little. We're gonna use some orange juice, put some ginger in there, some sugar. Let's take our uh, ham and we'll just stick it right in there. And you see she fits nicely in there, so it should be able to sit in the refrigerator overnight like that. And we're gonna throw some onions in there. I really like raw onions, but we're going to go ahead and uh, use these. Now I just got two chunked onions. I just cut them up in chunks. And uh, we're going to get that onion flavor in there. I really like that onion flavor. We're going to go ahead and take uh, about a half a cup of salt. And uh, we're going to add this. We're going to put it kind of down towards the bottom. And not really cover it too much in salt. We're going to back that up with the oranges. I'm going to get as much of the juice out of here as possible. And then of course it's all going to be water based after that. Get that down in there. And get that orange flavor real well all over this. That's going to seep, seep right into the meat. The oranges against it. I'll probably flip this in the middle of the night tonight. So it can really get a good soak on both sides of it. We're going to brine it in this solution. Right along with the whole oranges. The zest and all. And look, so much juice. When we do our pig roast, we always use a, an orange, an orange juice based, more of a Cuban marinade for it. And we let that go for a couple days. I got a good method of doing that. Which last pig roast, I did show uh, in videotape a lot of the cutting of the pig, the carving, so to speak. But uh, maybe this next one, which we plan on doing this winter, We'll end up uh, showing you the marinating that goes into our pig roast that we do. All right. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the sugar. Let me wash my hands here real quick. We're going to add about a half a cup of sugar. Kind of to offset the, the saltiness of the brine and to also get into the skin and into the meat so that when we get to the actual cooking part we get a bit of caramelization that happens. I'm going to put a little bit more of, uh, than a half a cup. Had a half a cup of salt. Do just about uh, two-thirds cup of sugar. We'll go along this whole thing. And remember I'm going to fill this with water as well. the rest of my spices in to the brine I'm gonna go ahead and add the water at this time make sure she gets real wet all over she got something good to soak in for the rest of the night and I will end up turning this here in just a moment and then uh, just to get everything mixed real well in there. And then in the, tonight, in the middle of the night, I'll get up and I will flip it one more time. But uh, we're gonna add some ginger. Ginger is a great, strong flavor. And 
I'm not getting as much as I want out of there. There we go. We'll just get that in there. We'll get that mixed in there. I told you I like the onions. We're going to do uh, just about the uh, same amount of onion powder. I'm going to do a little garlic powder too since I didn't include any garlic cloves, which I really should have, but it's just one of the things that was missed when we went and picked all this up for tomorrow's lunch or dinner, I should say. We'll just go a little bit lighter on the onion powder. We do have uh, plenty of onions in there. It's going to be really good. And uh, we'll get my two big forks. That's really what I like to use for this type of uh, procedure. I wonder if I can accomplish this without making a mess. That will be a success. I am the king of messes. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that real meaty side down. Get that down there. We'll get the orange peels up, the oranges up a little bit so that it can fit down in there again. And it's going to soak in this all night. And it's just going to get all juicy and ready to be cooked. He wants to be cooked now, but... I'd be in a lot of trouble if I did that. So, we'll wait till tomorrow and in the meantime, we'll get her brined up and get her ready to go. She'll be sitting in this solution probably for a good 15 hours, I'd say. What's tomorrow, Sunday? Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, and the New Orleans Saints, Raymond James Stadium blacked out football game get these orange peels up so she fits in there a little better she kind of fit in there a little better when she was another way around add a little more water in there she'll be good to go And that is a good ham, shoulder, pork, brine for the night. And I will keep her refrigerated. And uh, tomorrow we get her scored and get her smoked and that'll be all she wrote.